thank you so much for watching my review of the Total Control Suit Maker from AO.com. So today I'm going to show you all the manuals at the top, so um, what kind of options you have and what you can use with this suit maker. It's actually really easy, it's literally, it comes in two parts, uh, there's this top section that lifts up, you put your ingredients inside and then you've got an amazing soup. Um, it also does sauteing, it does drinks, so it's a really cool item to have in the kitchen. So I'm actually going to show you um, how to make a soup as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and thanks so much for watching. So here's the menu and the dashboard. Um, as soon as you turn this um, soup maker on, it will go onto smooth um, as default. So if you like smooth soups, you will just don't have to do anything and leave it on that setting there. If you did want to change it to the other settings though, so for example you've got medium, so I'm guessing that's where it's half smooth with a few chunks here and there, or here's a chunky one where you want like a chunky soup. I think I personally prefer chunky soups um, over smooth soups, but just depends what you fancy. Then you can do the saute, there's drinks, there's reheat, there's blend, and then there's a pre-clean. So actually before you start using the machine, it is recommended that you use the pre-clean um, option first. So what you do, you actually fill up the machine with water and then a bit of uh, washing up liquid and then set that on. So in order to set this um, uh, pre-clean, uh, mode on, all you have to do is press this mode button when this lights up right next to the option that you want. And as you can see it says it's going to be four minutes long and how you do that is by opening this machine, filling it up with water, I'll do that now to show you. The options, um, the manual actually says fill it up until it's 800 milligrams. Uh, I forgot the washing up liquid, so I literally did like a pea sized drop, but it's completely up to you how much you actually put in there. So put that on, choose the menu as we did last time and wait for four minutes for it to actually do. So in order to do to start that option on, we just press start and off we go. Great, so that's all done now. It bibs to let you know that it's finished. You pick this back up, so as you can see there's a nice handle that lets you open it up. And as you can see, it's all bubbled and it's nice and clean. Actually what I did is because I'm OCD, <laughs> um, I actually took everything out again, so all the bubbles and then I just rinsed it with cold water and put it on again. But it's completely up to you, I think, as long as it's clean and dry, you could start using it for any soup. So that's what I'm going to do now. Making a soup is really, really easy. You simply open up the machine, insert your vegetables. So I've got 700 grams of broccoli, I've got onion in here as well, red onion, and I've got mushrooms as well, everything that I wanted to finish off, and that was in the fridge, so I made a vegetable soup, let's put this in, so then I'm going to add some vegetable stock, in terms of the amount of stock, I guess it just depends on how watery you want the soup to be, um, personally, 
I like mine really like thick but if you want to water it down you can always do so later by adding just hot water to your soup so let's add the stock in apologies for the makeshift ladle <laughs> right so I'm going to use the smooth option so that you can see just how good this machine is at making a really creamy smooth soup right so that's the first option so I don't need to change any of the settings and I only need to press on start It says it's going to be 18 minutes. Whilst my soup is being made, let me talk a bit about um, peas. So this is where you could choose um, your portion sizes. But something to know is that this machine only allows you to choose your portions dependent on the recipe that you're making and the setting that you choose. So presumably, I guess if you're making for about three or four people, um, it's dependent on what kind of vegetables you use and uh, the items that you put in as well. Uh, something worth noting actually is that um, some vegetables take in a lot of uh, the liquid so what you think you might start with, you might end up with less portions than you expect. But it's something to keep in mind and um, from my point of view it's just trial and error really. So something that you can try out yourself and then uh, the more soups you do the more likely you are to understand um, how and what kind of vegetables do that kind of thing. So it's all done and let's see what it's like inside. <laughs> so basically not only is it going to be smooth but it's also going to be warm and it's going to be kept warm until you manage to take it out and pour, pour it into a lovely bowl for you to eat from. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs>